thinking of these these viral kind of valuable ads, is there a framework? I know you mentioned kind of the webinar framework is what you use. Are there key things or a key structure that we should follow when we're creating these? Yeah. So the goal of the webinar is really to take people through all levels of awareness through the funnel. So to know you, to start to like you, and to start to trust you through the top, middle, bottom of the funnel. With a really viral ad, there's, yeah, because this is the weird thing about marketing, right? There's no one way to market. What we've seen as a framework that works really well is a system for coming up with big ideas that I got from Jason Capital, where you start with the facts, you go into this central thesis, or I call it like a, a mind blower, and then you go into the mechanism and it all fits together really, really nicely. So what's an example? Does anyone have an example they could share in the chat or just to say of what they sell as their offer? Come on, let's get a volunteer. Otherwise I'll pick you. <laughs> yeah. Picking on people now. Yeah, let's do it. We can go through a few of these. I think this is awesome. Yeah, so Donna okay. it helps people learn about their finances and become more financially empowered. So what's, what's kind of one, how, how do you do that? If you could express it in just... What's your offer? Yeah. Yeah. You can unmute yourself yeah. too, if you just want to say it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I literally teach people how to manage their own money in their own system without a bookkeeper or an accountant and prepare almost, almost prepare their own tax return. So it's completely empowering around their financials. So the first thing okay. that somebody sees is spreadsheets. But the outcome is not the spreadsheets. The outcome is the feeling and being able to have a different insight into their own spending and what they really need out of life. It's just as emotional as it is functional. Got it. So for the sake of this example, I might plagiarize that a little bit, put some words in your mouth. I hope yeah. that's cool. <laughs> so, so I would say that you start with the facts, right? You're, I get it. You're, let's say, running your life. You don't have time. It feels like a big chore to kind of run behind your life with a little dustpan, sweeping up all the financials and getting that organized. But the problem is you go through these cycles where, yes, maybe you're making more money. Maybe you're trying to save money and pay off bills, but it just feels like month after month or especially year after year in your taxes, you're kind of in the same spot and you're stuck. And so you could go to tax advisors, you know, financial specialists, get an accountant, have someone do that for you. The problem is that they're, and this is kind of your mind blower of just the, the accountants are just doing the work for you. They're not focusing on the outcome. So you're delegating your time at the cost of your results. Delegating the time. And Wait, say so de delegating the time what? <laughs> the uh, delegating your, your time. Mm -hmm. And then you said something after that. At oh, the cost that, of your results. At the cost yes. of your results. You'll get the recording too, so don't worry. <laughs> yes. No, I really like it, thank you. <laughs> that was good. And so then people hear that and they're like, oh no, I have been going through this process of almost kicking the can down the road. And it's, I thought I needed this. Everyone told me, get a tax accountant, get you know, whatever the status quo is, but really, and then this is where you introduce your own mechanism where you don't need to know everything about finances and taxes to or do it properly. <laughs> you just need to have a system. And it's like, I have the system that allows you to proactively protect your money, set your own goals and handle it in whatever, 15 minutes a week or something like that, where it's, it's, easy for them. It's not overwhelming. They, all their excuses kind of make sense and they're really intriguing. And so that would really be the outcome, right? Of just, here's what's happening. Here's why it's wrong. And then here's the solution. And depending on what ad platform you're using, like for Instagram, you can go even more direct for an invitation. And we use these formats all the time. We call them the 5130 that we're looking for five people to get one outcome in the next 30 days. And so that's a little bit more templated uh, for like coaches and agencies. And if you have that offer that fits it, but it could be, hey, we're looking for a few more, let's say 
lawyers or a few more. I would I would want to get specific with who you help, which I don't I don't have top of hand. But I know for Mickey, she could easily run an ad of hey, we're looking for a few more lawyers who want to have a content plan that brings them in clients every single week over the next 90 days. If you're interested in that, just shoot me a DM to see if we're a good fit. Me and my team will get you all the detail. And it's like, oh, okay, this is for me. It's an outcome that I like. And especially adding the time frame can help dimensionalize and almost act as a little bit of proof. So it's not just you're getting this benefit, but it feels like you have more plan because there's a specific deadline to it. And then once they're interested, you just stop and just say, hey, DM me for more. Like they're hooked. They need to close that loop and take that next step. Thank you. Love that's, that. Would you use that same framework for a VSL? Yeah. So that's that's the big idea framework that I like yeah. to use. And because a lot of it, it ties in so well to create after the emotional push, it creates a really tight, logical explanation to justify why they need this. Yeah. So a recent project I was working on was was with this content system. So how founders can create content and really get clear on their brand values and how to look up swipe and and write it and post it and have a system so they're not just scrambling in the morning trying to spend their time writing content or rushing through it. And so the big idea for that was almost like there's this gold rush that you could become a content millionaire if you post the right words every day online, which is kind of crazy. And so the big idea behind that was just look at Kendall, Kendall Jenner, the, uh, yeah. she became yeah. a billionaire with the makeup palettes. Oh, yeah. um, Kylie she didn't, Jenner. She didn't know. Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Kylie Jenner. Oh man. It's okay. Messed, there's too many of them. Up that name. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, one of them, she, she wasn't on her stovetop, like trying to cook up makeup and coming up with this, this magic formula. She just had a, a large following of people and she put the right pieces in the right places to create a billion dollar business, but it was all because of her reach. The same with Mr. Beast. Like he doesn't, he doesn't really directly sell anything. Sure, he gets a big reach and he gets paid for that on YouTube. But recently he launched his chocolate bar company, right? He doesn't make chocolate. Sure, he had some say over like the taste and what he eats and it's healthy and it's uh, healthy for chocolate and it, and it looks great. But yeah, he just plugged into other people's capabilities and instantly made that a seven-figure business because of his reach, maybe even higher. So there are a lot of these facts in the marketplace. And the truth is that it's not about just creating content. It's about having a brand. And you don't have that if you just go through the motions every single day. You need some sort of operating system to build a business off of and have the content flow from that. And that naturally leads into our solution. 